Uh, well, all right, well, who's your next one? Grace Slick. She's one of my favorites on the list. I'm a big Jefferson Airplane fan. I didn't know that. Yeah, just the, that whole psychedelic rock movement. She's pretty much at the forefront of it. And she just, like, sings with so much power. And then, like, on the song White Rabbit, just brings it down. Just, like, her haunting vocals are just awesome. And then she's, like, this really just, like, beautiful girl in the mix of all these, like, hippies and stuff, which is kind of... It's like a weird... Is the way you always pictured yourself? Kind of the beautiful girl in the middle of a bunch of hippies? Like everyone wants you. Uh, Abby Hoffman and Grace Slick. Uh, Grace Slick went to some kind of prep school with Richard Nixon's... I'm going to do my presidential trivia. Oh. With Richard Nixon's uh, daughter. So there was some kind of 10-year reunion, and she took Abby, and he like put his hair up and stuff, and they had acid under their fingernails, and they're little prank but they were going to dose all the kids at the White House Um, but they never got through the door for whatever reason (laughs) there's a really great picture of her and Abby together though going into the White House you should do that now bring it back to like Sasha and Malia get them all fucked up you know dosing people with acid (laughs) is always one of the funniest things ever look at Abby there he just looks like a Jewish lawyer it's great. And then Grace looks like Joey Ramone in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Shelby sees himself. Those damn hormone treatments are so expensive. I saw him doing that earlier. Bradley Manning was saying. Bradley Manning wants to go full sex change now. I know he had gender identity issues. That's what they were saying. But he just wants to cut it off. You don't cut it off. You split it and push it in. Oh, split and no. push it in. Why? Why are you reacting to that, Shelby? No, I was laughing at him. <laughs> what do you What do you do with the, the excuse me, ladies, the cock meat inside of your penis and ball sack? Excuse me, lady. Thank God you're so classy <laughs> as to as to be excused for that. I'm not a surgeon. I can't tell you, but like the American Indian, we like to use everything. All the meat must be used to, to honor it. <laughs> no, that. Just keep it. It has to be that no. much. No, it's just split no. and then pushed in. Mm. Split, pushed in. <laughs> so, so now he has like an inside-out cock. Well, it hasn't happened yet. So you know, <laughs> the dude is bangs her. They're just the inside of the vagina is just fucking cock skin. Yeah, that's probably about the gayest thing that you'll ever do in your life. I'm actually fucking a cock <laughs> with my cock. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck, that's fucking crazy. I know. It really just blows away the story that he gave away government secrets. <laughs> now that that's like moved so far down on the interesting things about him. Fuck, WikiLeaks. I mean, there you seem like there's a certain amount of bravery to that. Unlike Bradley, if I decide to split it and <laughs> shove it, I can keep my same name. There's a whole set of forms I don't have that, to fill out. Oh that is true, Shelb. <sighs> Classic Shelb. Oh. <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ! Oh. There she is, and I think uh, he he she now wants to be called Christina. I think is the I name. I thought you were going to say Chris Stanley. <laughs> I guess that's a compliment. I don't even know. I want to be Chris Stanley, man. Yeah, Chris, you could keep your same name too. You got a girl's name. Yeah, Chris or Christopher is the full name. Well, we'll just call you Chrissy. No, then, if I was able, if I were to fucking invert my cock. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> cock meat. I gotta use a bad word here. Inner cock meat. <laughs> it have to be. Uh, yeah, have to go, Chrissy. Yeah, Chrissy. But then we'll put a heart over the eye. Nice. Oh, I, 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 I'm looking at a fucking picture of Mang's face right now. Girl face. <sighs> but just. To fucking tear up your genitals. Whatever, you know? <laughs> but a girl would look better in those glasses that he wears. Those army issue glasses. But here's the weird thing. They always brag about born this way, but in this case, you're obviously not born this way. <laughs> that's him so, in the wig. Yeah, that's Chrissy. Looks a little better than when he's in the I think fatigues. a lot better. I mean, you'd want to sleep with it until you realize you're fucking <laughs> inside out cock. <laughs> mm. Then at least you'll have the story. You know what I mean? No, I don't want the story. <laughs> like though. you're together drinking, and people are like, "What is the weirdest thing you ever done?" And you're like, "Nothing real." Wait, 
I did have sex with an inside out uh, penis. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> yes. Fuck. <sighs> So, Chris, if you ever want to change your sex, yeah. it can be done. Well, I, I don't. I'd rather just be like, all right, so what's the term for, is it Trish Tranny? If you're, like, gay and you want to be a chick, but you keep your dick. Is that is there a term? I, don't, I know they don't like tranny. All right, transsexual. Transsexual. And then transgender is what Bradley Manning would be. Yeah, transgender. I mean, you have a, per- a perfectly good cock. cock. That, that I'm going to assume was working, and you're going to tear it up and go... That, to me, would seem like mental illness. You know what I mean? Like, when a person would do that, it seems like mentally ill. I get, hey, I want to wear a wig and a skirt. Go ahead. Do it. You're not hurting yourself. But then when you're inverting your penis, oh. you're like, you can't you just keep your penis and wear a wig? No, then they want people to fuck that cock me pocket. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. People have surgeries for a lot worse things. People have, like, plastic surgery that's, like, wildly painful. Think about like what? what happens when you get There's a nose job. There's nothing more wildly They're painful literally... than having your dick fucking cut in half and then pushed yeah. up inside of you. This might be a male thing, but you don't know. Like, even when you say oh, it, everybody, you, you know, you do that. You <laughs> can't think of a worse thing. <laughs> like, if I said to you, Chris, yeah. I'm going to slice your penis no. and push it into you <laughs> or shoot you in the head. Fucking splatter my fucking brains all over the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because fucking after now I now I, then I would then have a inverted fuck, I'd have a fucking cock pussy is what I would fucking have. <laughs> it's your bluntness that I'm really not all that comfortable with. Melissa's loving this. <laughs> it's great guys. Yeah, it is. It's brilliant. It's brilliant stuff. I think that's Bond's new sidekick in the next movie, Cock he, Pussy. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> I don't know where how we got here from Gray Slick, but <laughs> you know, women of rock. Takes us to this spot. Yeah. Chris, look, it's great. Molly's got her sweater on, sweater off, sweater <laughs> on, sweater off. Decision. I'll keep it off for a while, and then I'll see how I feel in a little bit. <laughs> I think she's on drugs the way she keeps doing this. It's like Molly popped the Molly. I am sweating. Um, I got a little spy report first. Spy report. Spy report. Spy report. Uh, here's Joey. Joey, you're on the run of Fest show. Spy report. Spy report. Hey. Spy report. I just heard on uh, Fox Spy News report. That it was spy what? report. <laughs> spy report. Spy <laughs> report. What happened? The entire Spy report. Spy down. report. <laughs> spy report. Bravo! Spy report. I uh, said Aaron Hernandez was indicted. Well, that's a huge surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never saw that coming, huh? <laughs> How'd they get the evidence against him? He said everyone's going to be sorry when they find out the truth. <laughs> I'll be the first to apologize, dude. Well, all his all his fucking uh, pen pal letters are saying, listen, God's on my side, and I'm going to get out of this perfectly fine. Like, no, you're not. You're fucking delusional, Hernandez. You've killed like four people. Is he going to split his cock, too? Or is that just a thing people do when they go to jail? Now? That's up to, you know, it's up to him. <laughs> if he wants to, he surely can. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they're even going to let Christina Manning do this in prison. He's going to have to wait. Or she's going to have to wait. Well, Why? Why does she have to wait? Isn't it? Oh, isn't, all right, this is technically elective surgery. Like, you go to prison, you're not getting That's lipo. A, you know, it's like, I, I feel fat well, in I, here, guys. Um, but what if you were supposed to be thin and you just <laughs> weren't born that way? I'm getting calf implants. I just don't get everything that the gays push is born this way. And now Christina and Manning has to come along and go, I wasn't born this way, but I want to be this way. I got to be turned this way. This is almost as nutty as when they try to take gay kids camping and then tell them that they're not gay. She yelled them. Shelby, how did you get through that anyway? <laughs> One day at a time. Yeah, that's true. I know one thing. If we were going to do a sex change with Shelby, no one touches his eyes or lips. They stay perfectly there. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jim, Montana, you're on the run of Fest show. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, I, there's a guy I went to high school with in Helena. He actually is a, makes documentaries now in, in New York, but he became a she, and she is a lesbian. And from talking to her... There's like 50% of the transgender folks 
are actually whatever sex they become, they become gay. So well, the last time I saw him, I just told him he kind of went through a long process to want to eat pussy. But that's weird. But they made a documentary about it. It's weird. Documentary. documentary. Okay. So he's saying that a man who turns into a woman is more likely to be a lesbian, or at least 50%. I don't know, but I have heard. I heard of these two couples. She, wait, so it's like a dude and a girl. He became a she, she became a he, and then they dated each other. Oh. They just flipped the script completely. That's, that's and they got the full thing, the full uh, conversion? Yeah, the full boat. They did the whole enchilada. That's think a lot I, of pain. I think I saw a story of like two British teens who are doing that too. Like they met in some like uh, in group the joint that we do it. Yeah, maybe that's the story I'm hearing about, or maybe all of them do that. <laughs> but the point is, they are protected under the rainbow flag, under the laws of the rainbow flag. Fly the fucking rainbow flag, dudes. When chicks, or <laughs> and then chicks and dudes, yeah, it's flipped over. But it's so, all right, like, so the woman wants to become a dude. Like, they, they just, what do they, they build a cock? Yeah. Of, they build a bear. Same process as build a bear. <laughs> same process, same exact thing. You know, you like wish on a heart and kiss it and put <laughs> yeah. it into the bear. Same thing. Same exact thing. Doesn't change. <laughs> it's up on that story's up on the eye bank. Uh, the one I'm talking about. Did you search split cock? No, that's not true. <laughs> so, I mean, you know this. Uh, Anthony, you're on the run of Fez show. Where the fuck is Fez? He's right here. He's got a little bit of a cough going today. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't heard you in days, Fez. Speak up. I'll cough on you. <laughs> Here's a tip from West Virginia. Hey, Molly. It's been an awesome fucking... Uh... Intern class, gonna miss you. Oh, but, thanks. Uh, where, where are my Wilson sisters at? The, the first ladies of rock, lead guitar, superpower voice. It didn't come when we did our our brain meld. Yeah, oh, at this point. Well, uh, thanks a lot, Molly. It's been good. Thanks. How people love Molly. This show's yeah. gonna suck ass without her. <laughs> it's just gonna be Hicks and his goddamn gross stories and stupid. Not gross. I'm just trying to figure out this whole sex change operation thing. That's all. Duh. Why are you trying to figure it out? Are you thinking about having like, it done? No, I'm not thinking about having it done. It seems to go through a lot, especially if half of the people then become gay. And then just want, you know, they could have not gotten It's there. an identity confusion. They're confused about who they are, b even beyond sexuality. Yeah, there's like gender identity and then sexual identity. And I guess they're related, but not the same. You remember when you were little and you felt like you should have been a mermaid <laughs> and used to tie your legs together and go into the pool <laughs> so you could swim that way? I don't remember that at all. He was wasted. Yeah. <laughs> Not as a child. <laughs> you like imagine if you weren't born with a horse's body. You I, weren't a centaur. I'm a human being. I have human life. You're a human doing, <laughs> not a human being. Thank you. I don't know, like if someone said, Oh, I want to have this done, I couldn't doubt them. You know what I mean? Because they're going through all that craziness. No. I would say, God, they must really want that. No, I'd have to be like, Are you you can't just get your shit all fucking like mangled, possibly. A lot of the transgender people feel like, like if a guy feels he was born a woman but just in the wrong body, feels like he can't be a complete woman until all of that is taken care of. So I mean, like keeping the penis is just. Do any of them ever change their mind and go, "This is nuts"? Uh, fill me back in now. They have to. Some of them have to. Realize. Some of them have to. This was a huge It's just mistake. a constant confusion, probably. Uh, There's no going back, man. Now you have a fucking an inverted penis. All right, the story up on the eye bang is former boy now dating former girl. That's the story that... Handsome Johnny Tubestake got this <laughs> stuff by. Yes. What do you got? Gifts for the oh, what do you got? Oh, I got that thanks. for you. I got that for oh, you. Thanks. What do you got, Miles? I got the host. 
Um, from Stephanie Meyer, the author of the Twilight Saga. Very nice. I have never heard of this host before. <laughs> That's really nice, Thank Handsome you. Johnny. Yeah. Let's you guys go. Handsome Johnny is all class. Nothing but class. Yep. This is the end of an era. This was a good this is a good uh good intern pool we had here. I think it's a, the beginning of a new worse era, though. Yes. That's the <laughs> yes. beauty of it. It's going to be a dark winter. I hate the, our new interns we haven't picked yet. <laughs> I interviewed uh, a bunch of them uh, a couple days ago, and goddamn, they sound stupid. <laughs> they, I didn't pick them because they're... They, Hellbillies? They, no, they were, they were... Well, one was from the sticks, and one was from in the area, mm. and just they sounded retarded. They did not make the Well, cut. that doesn't mean that we would not hire them. <laughs> We like special needs people here. Right, Ba? <laughs> Whoever the new intern is, let them know I'm going to punch him in the face. That's that's, part, well, that's one of the things I check with them. You you are comfortable getting punched in the face <laughs> on your first day, right? No? Well, then you're shit out of luck. When Pepper emailed me, he was like, I just want you to understand like the content of the show. Uh. is." <laughs> Why don't you just say your personality? It has nothing to do with the content of the show. What else did he warn you about? Um, you know, just that it's a lot of work, which I was ready for, and um, that I wasn't getting paid. <laughs> you realize this is an unpaid position. You guys don't get stipends too, right? You get nothing. Nope, nothing. Uh, now you're oh. offering handsome Johnny oh, a, a donut. donut. No problem. Damn, these are like fancy donuts. It's donut yeah. plant, dude. Come on. They're fancy. Uh, here's the love, Dennis. Love, Dennis. Uh, yeah, Ronnie, I wanted to. Uh, the Kim deal was off that list. Also, uh, Molly wasn't on that list for. Lone Dinosaur. <laughs> we haven't played the Lone Dinosaur song in a while. Struggled with the Lone Dinosaur. We didn't know where we put it. Here we go. All right. The Lone Dinosaur is the name of the song. Yeah, and my dad, um, like, like, completely botched the spelling of both words <laughs> in, like, the title of the file. Musicians can't spell. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. He spelled it Lone, L-O-A-N. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. What? D-I-N-A-S-O-R. Oh, my so God. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You were a little kid, so we're going to give you the opportunity. Mm -hmm. But he acts like he was also five. <laughs> All right, here's the Lone Dinosaur. The lone dinosaur, dinosaur, his tail was swift as lightning, dinosaur, his heart was bright and pure, dinosaur, whenever there was danger, he'd be there to fight the carnival, the lone dinosaur. But Molly's voice has really gotten deep since then, huh? <laughs> what happened? You must smoke cigarettes and drink scotch. Mm. Molly's like this. This is me when I was five. <laughs> I was five years old in Westchester. <laughs> That's when you used to call your nanny mommy. You were just totally confused. Yeah, out pair. Yeah. Right? Just celebrating Jamaican fucking holidays. <laughs> Filipino. No, Filipino. Was she Filipino? Oh, of she yeah. Was. Of course she right. was. <laughs> She's awesome. She's still around or? Still around, yeah, uh, big time. Why didn't you bring her in? I should have. Yeah, I think she would have had a hard time with like the the cockney covers. <laughs> no, we would we would clean it up. Yeah, we'd be we do a, a pro Filipino show. Bai Lang is welcome in here anytime. <laughs> Zenny Shelby, her name is Zenny. She's like second mom, or mm -hmm. first mom, really. <laughs> I she, think I'm first mom. She takes over during <laughs> drinking times. <laughs> Which is increasing the amount of time that's happening, I hear. <laughs> <From> <laughs> well, it doesn't get less. 